Hey guys, so I have a Linux game review for you today. It's been a while since I did one of these, but Mini Metro by the Dinosaur Polo Club has been incredibly difficult to put down. Yes, the Dinosaur Polo Club is a particularly interesting name for an indie development studio, but there you go. Mini Metro, at the time of recording, it's six ninety nine, the usual price on Steam. That's British pounds, by the way. Uh, but it is on the uh, new Lunar Calendar sale, 15% off. So now is a good time to get it if you're thinking about getting it anytime soon. So the game is quite easy to describe. It's everything that an indie game should be. Imagine the quite famous London Underground map, and that is very close to what the interface of this game is. It's a minimalist game that allows you to redesign the London Underground as well as many other uh, metropolitan rail networks according to procedurally generated levels. Yeah, so effectively it's a game where you do little more than assign trains to train lines and draw up the train stations. The actual mechanics of the game are incredibly basic, incredibly minimalist. The graphic design is incredibly minimalist as well. Yet, I can barely pull myself away from the game. And I think that one of the reasons why I found this to be a game that I've enjoyed so much is because it's exactly what I look for in a game. It's a game that takes a game mechanic. In this case, it's the very basic mechanic of, of, of a management sim, and it takes away all the, all the unnecessary fluff around it, all the, all the unnecessary details, and it just gives you the raw management aspects of it. And it doesn't even uh, let you have any kind of, uh, there's no currency system or anything like that. Your job and your job alone is to make sure that the trains run on time. But to me, even though it goes along the theme of the sort of the metro management sim, that's just that's just a, that's just a framework to put these particular game mechanics in. This, but it is effectively just a puzzle solving game. It takes um, some very basic puzzle mechanics, and it just makes levels out of them. And it takes away everything that, that's unnecessary. It takes away you know money management or budget management. Uh, it takes away choosing different trains and all that kind of stuff. Because let's face it, I guess in reality you would hire someone else, hire someone with with specific expertise to actually make those decisions for you. Your job is is singular and it's um, and, and it allows you to focus on it because it kind of has this brain training element to it. It kind of feels that it reminds you that. Well, games are supposed to challenge you, uh, and they are supposed to effectively make you better at solving puzzles. And this game really gets to the nitty gritty of that in the most minimalist way possible. I like the music, I like the minimalist gameplay style, and I like the minimalist graphic style. Um, and to me, an indie game should take a pretty basic game mechanic and and exploit it and to build an, and to build a game around that singular mechanic. Indie studios don't have the world of money. And that's one of the tactics that, that some of the more successful indie games have, 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 um, have come up with. And this is no exception. This is exactly uh, where in the indie genre, I suppose if you could call it a genre, has its strength in the strength uh, that it just takes one mechanic and does that one mechanic really, really, really well. So it's something that I strongly recommend you guys check out if you are into any of the management sims. It's a lot more bare bones than most of the other management sims out there. And that's one of the reasons why I really, really like it. And it's a really good opportunity if you're just looking for something, uh, something else just to keep your brain sharp, I guess. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, that's about it from me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.